Why do you say that? Because if it's bad luck to say good things, it's good luck to say bad things. You're rooting for me to fail. I am not rooting for you to fail. Laurel, I tell him he's going to do great. Jinx it for him? No way. Thank you. You're both nuts. I could run the place if you want, Luke. Hmm, let me search down to the very depth of my being to see if there's even the slightest inclination that I would want that. Nope. Just checking. What's that? Oh, I brought it over last night. I figured you'd need it for hanging stuff. I'm not bringing hanging stuff. Well, you should bring some nice clothes just in case. I threw in some slacks on your black jacket. It's a field trip with a bunch of 12-year-olds. I'm not going to need nicer stuff. Just in case. It's 10 days of diners and fast food, nothing requiring slacks or jackets. See, that's what the phrase just in case covers, the times you think you've anticipated every possible need. All right, I'll bring it. You know there was a flash flood in El Salvador last night? No, my Salvadoran paper didn't come today. They didn't see it coming. That's the flash part of flash flood. So what do I do if I see a flash flood coming straight at the diner? Make sure all the customers have settled up. It's all a big joke to you. So you're taking this, huh? No, the old one's a mess. Hmm. Well, you don't think I should? No, it's just... I think it's sturdy enough? Yeah, I think it should be. Well, it's always best to take something that a gorilla could jump up and down on and not wreck. I don't think a gorilla has tested it, but if it busts, I'll just pick up something on the road. That'll work. All right, I should get going. Anna's stuck at the house until I pick up April. Well, let's get you on the road. It's good timing, too. Caesar's in the back. <laughs> sure you don't want to reconsider my offer? I've got a hairnet on me, so I can start immediately. Offer declined. You take that. I'll take this. Perfect. Oh, oops. He's unstoppable. It's cute. We need to confirm your itinerary. Yes, we've done a thousand times before. Sure, let's confirm it. Today's the kids' math contest in Newark. Yep. In my day, you learned two plus two and you stayed home. Today, they got contests and go on the road like they're Metallica or something. And then tomorrow night's Philadelphia. Did I tell you we were dropping in on Jess? Jess, no. Yeah, this place he works. They put out this zine and books and whatever else. They're having an open house and take in April. Give Jess a chance to meet his little cousin. Oh, sounds great. So, anywhere in the back? Anywhere's fine. Hey, day six. If the cell dies, is there a phone in Gettysburg I can reach you at? Yeah, the one Grant used to call Lincoln numbers in the book. Oh, good. He's a funny man today. He's Jerry Lewis. Caesar, calm down. You're going to do great. You're the best cook Luke's ever had. You so make better pancakes than he does. True. No, he doesn't. You just have to be confident. It's just that when I'm working the grill, sometimes I get a locked elbow. And Luke's the only one who knows how to rub it to get it working again. He rubs your elbow? No, it's like a sports injury. It's okay if it's sports. You want to step back about three feet so I can take a bite of my girl? Fine. You gonna miss me? Especially if my elbow hurts. I'm gonna call you a lot. Same here. You know, I was happy when she asked me, but now it just struck me. I'm gonna spend 10 days with a bus full of teenagers. I think you're ready. Thanks for seeing me off. Your pancakes are better, by the way. Thanks. Don't worry, Luke. Just a momentary panic. I'm gonna be fine, I promise. Good. Now go back in there and reclaim your turf. Reclaim my turf? Kirk! What are you doing, Kurt? You don't work here. Get out. Get off of here. That's my favorite hairnet. 